Hello everyone, welcome to Sarvs' classes. This is Ashmita and here we are solving the CAT question paper of 2023. And uh, though we are uh, not talking about the answers, but rather we are going to talk about uh, why we are choosing these answers as the correct answers and also what's there in the paragraph, okay? So let's focus on what all the paragraph is talking about and the main highlights of the paragraph we are going to discuss. I'm not going to read each of the lines as I've mentioned in the previous videos also, but, um, but seriously, I would be talking about what exactly is being talked about in each of the par paragraphs. So yes, the very first paragraph, it says... Um, uh, it, it talks about how different factors like uh, geography, culture influence the human societies around the world. Because yes, many things influence the human societies. Like it uses the examples of, uh, yeah, it uses the examples of North and South Korea over here. And uh, see, over here, they have taken the examples of economies of North and South Korea current economies, we have taken the differences, the Inuit people, okay, and also the Aboriginal um, Australians to show how things like government policies, the environment, the available resources can all play a role in shaping how people live, okay. So let's talk about North and South Korea, what's the difference between them? North and South Korea. Now, they're very different economies. We know that. And even from the paragraph, we can uh, come to know about uh, these things. They are very, very different from each other. And uh, instead, uh, see, it's more about the different choices that their government has made that has made them different from each other. Now, talking about the Inuit people, Now, Inuit people, they live in the very cold Arctic Circle, okay? So, they developed warm fur clothes to stay warm, but uh, they didn't develop farming because it's a cold place and also because it's too hard to grow things in the cold Arctic Circle, okay? Uh, next would be the Aboriginal Australians, okay? So, Aboriginal, see, Arctic Circle I have just discussed. Now, we are focusing on Aboriginal Australia. Now, in Aboriginal Australia's, uh, in, in Australians, we can say they were the only people who were living in Australia when the Europeans arrived. And they were hunter-gatherers. This is because they, there weren't any animals or plants in Australia that were good for farming. Okay. So, yeah, the main point over here is that there is no single explanation for why things are the way they are in different parts of the world. So, it's a mix of different factors that work together and it's important to consider all of them when trying to understand why things are different, okay? So, ultimately, we can see the entire text is arguing against the idea that geographical explanations for human behavior are always deterministic or reductionistic. Scholars have sometimes rejected explanations that involve geography because they think that they are too simplistic or... Yeah, so... Uh, Maybe because they are too simplistic or make people seem helpless against their environment. And the author calls... Now, the author calls this uh, the reflex rejection of geographical explanations. Now, the author also argues that this rejection is often based on misunderstandings or a lack of knowledge about geography. Like, for example, some people think that geographical explanations are always racist, even though this is not always the case. So as we go further into the passage, we come to know that the author also points out that other fields of study, such as genetics, or if I take history, they have also had racist theories in the past. But this doesn't mean that all explanations in these fields are racist. 
Now, the author also concludes by saying that geographical explanations can be complex and nuanced and that we should not reject them out of hand. Okay. So, yes, we, we should consider them carefully and give them a fair hearing. And see, this is not a very easy topic or not a very easy comprehension given. It, is, it, it has been written for an academic audience. So, yes, there are many, many technical terms over here. So, you need to read a lot to get along with such passages. Do not think that going to the examination and just going through this would help you out, would make you uh, understand these things. So yeah, let's move over to the questions part. Four questions would be there. The author criticizes the scholars, criticizes the scholars who are not geographers for all of the following reasons except Okay, except their outdated interpretations of past cultural and historical phenomena. This is the reason and we all know this would be the perfect reason. Next question. See the same passage is given and, and along with that we have a question. The examples of the Inuit and Aboriginal Australians are offered in the passage to show what? to show how physical circumstances can dictate human behavior and cultures. Okay, next question. All of the following can be inferred from the passage except, so which, can, which of the points cannot be inferred from the passage? While most human phenomena result from culture and individual choice, some have biogeographic origins also. This would be one of the reasons, one of the exceptions. And another question is there. Mm, yes, this one. All of the following are advanced by the author as reasons why non-geographers disregard the geographic influences on human phenomenon expect, except there. So see, most of the questions have this except. So uh, something which is not there in the passage or something which... Yeah, even if it is given from the passage, this word except is there. It means except uh, out of these, which one is the exception? Like that. The questions uh, are um, given like that. So yes, uh, over here, dismissal of explanations that involve the geographical causes for human behavior. That would be perfect. Now, the best thing that you, you can do for understanding these kind of questions and paragraphs especially See, questions come afterwards. For understanding these kind of paragraphs, it's better to do the previous year's question solve than read uh, such kind of passages. See, there are so many books available in the market online, offline, everywhere. So if uh, possible, go through these kind of books where you have these kind of solved examples and, uh, and, and also read a bit more than, you, than usual, okay? Because these paragraphs they require a lot of reading to understand properly okay so yes that would be my recommendation and if you want to join our classes for that you can also do that all the descriptions regarding our classes are given in the description box just below this video you will get that and thank you for being with me till the end let's meet again in the next videos other videos